Hello learners. This week we are going to focus on color as our theme and I'm starting with the color of the year as determined by Pantone of 2020 is classic blue. And I'm sure you think about blue when you think about blue in art, maybe you think of Picasso's blue period, or you think of nature and photography and the beautiful skies and seas around us. Maybe blue is your favorite color, but color is so rich in history that it's something we just are used to seeing and thinking about that it's important to take time and reflect on where does color come from? Who developed color? What does color mean and how can color be used in art? So I'm taking a monochromatic approach, meaning I'm focusing on one color at a time each day. And today I'm focusing on blue. We are gonna learn and talk about Yves Klein, who really uh, thought that he signed the sky and created his own iconic uh, style of art, focusing just on blue. So let's look and talk about this color and then look at a piece of art together. For today, I'm taking a longer quote from the Pantone website because we're inspired by the color of the year. And I think this is really in interesting and timely. And it says, we are living in a time that requires trust and faith. It is this kind of constancy and confidence that is expressed by Pantone 19 4052, classic blue, a solid and dependable blue hue we can always rely on, imbued with a deep residence. Classic blue provides an anchoring foundation, a boundless blue evocative of the vast and infinite evening sky. Classic blue encourages us to look beyond the obvious, to expand our thinking, challenging us to think more deeply increase our perspective, and open the flow of communications. So now let's take a peek at some specific form of art. Uh, the artist that, that I mentioned, Yves Klein, I would like to share his, his work. So Yves Klein was a French artist who was known for one of the, his work with almost a, a leading foundation to pop art and minimalism, uh, but also, uh, he was a performance artist. He actually studied judo before doing art. And some of his work is, is provocative and interesting, but also very simple. There's a simplicity and a complexity in his pieces. So when you look at this, obviously blue is the overriding theme. Uh, to the right, you're gonna see IKB, which stands for I th uh, International Cl uh, Klein Blue, or Eve's, actually, I think it's Eve's Klein Blue, 191, after him, because he created his own color, uh, which is kind of interesting to think about that this happened in the 60s. Uh, a quote from him I also want to stress and talk about while you're just looking at these blue pieces of art. Uh, blue is a primary color which lies between violet and green on the spectrum of light. The blues can describe a state of mind. Feeling blue can refer to being melancholic and depressed. Conversely, blue is known to calm the mind and body. The color blue can slow human metabolism and can produce a meditative effect. In nature, blue is reflected in the sky, water, earth, and fire. It is associated with opening spaces, intuition, imagination, and inspiration. The blues describes music such as rhythm and blues, bluegrass and jazz. Blue has no dimension, it is beyond dimensions. So looking at this work, and then let's take a look at one other piece. You can see right here, this is another one. This is some of his sculptures. So this is an artist that truly embraced, owned, created, invented his own shade of blue. And uh, the theme for today is blue. So look, study, learn about where did this color come from. There's so much to each color. Uh, I just wanted to plant a seed and a thought and enjoy your beautiful day as you look at the blue sky out above. <laughs>